you, a couple of quick things. If you can work out the client DNA of your individual yep. content, uh, your individual contact in the larger business, you can work out what they are actually asked to do in their role and you can support them. That's a start. If you can work out what the longer term plans of certain parts of the businesses are, and you can get as much intel as you can as to what makes them tick, what their longer term plans are. And you can just start with little offerings that fix a big problem yes. for them, right? Fix a big problem. Yep. If you know that they've had a certain supplier for a long period of time, that they're vulnerable at this time, you got to look at what that's, find out as much as you can about what that supplier is bringing and, and maybe where some of their, their failures are or their, over time their weaknesses yep. are. If you're if they're big and you're small, you're agile and they're slow, right? It's yep. just about And you know something we've talked about before as well. Just because you're small, don't think that your value is actually being cheaper. No. Do not cut off your nose to spite your face yeah. because yeah, you might get in the door on cheaper rates, but that is going to destroy your business. It can. It can. And that is it. I mean it's a commercial decision, I agree with you. But but, but that can't just, be the only no, thing that you are no, no, selling I, is a cheaper. I totally price. agree. And I think that once, so someone will always come in cheaper. And how are you going to service that client if you need to bring in elite talent later yep. down the line and you can't get the margin out of it and you're trying to actually attract the right type yep. of people to service this monster client? Yep. Also, this is just a little bit of advice. Don't let a big client, it might be that exciting, but don't let them change your mission or the DNA of your business in a way that you can't retrieve. Yep. Because you can end up in a situation where you've got 40 clients over here and you go after the big fish and you catch the big fish and you end up servicing the big fish and it just sucks all the oxygen out of the rest of your business. And it's a really hard decision to turn and it that's away. that's only one client. That's one. If you lose that client, you're dead in the water, Correct. right? Correct.